Might have a word with my husband's new best friend. Today is a fortuitous day indeed for Rivenspire, though. I fear other kingdoms within the Covenant may not be so lucky. I know that my husband considers you to be his champion, but I wonder if you might be willing to assist his queen as well? I have heard troubling news from Sentinel. Rumors say that enemies from my father's past have returned. I wrote to him right away, of course, but as everyone knows, King Faharajad can be slow to respond. Still, I fear for his safety. Necromancers. Their kind has not been seen in the Alakir Desert for years, but that only makes them more dangerous. If you can go to Sentinel and just ensure all is well, it would be a relief. I have made travel arrangements, if you are willing. Look for a ship called the Don Posset offshore at North Point. The first mate, Elvira Dere, should be waiting for you on the docks, ready to leave for Sentinel. When you get there, just make sure the city is safe. Only visit my father, if you wish. Of course. I'm relieved already, just knowing that you will go. If there is any trouble there, I know my father could use help, whether he wants it or not. I'm sorry, I digress. You said you have a question. When I was very young, there was a necromancer, Satura. He raised an army of the dead and marched on Sentinel. Though my people will not fight the dead, somehow my father won the battle. If Satura has returned, though, it would be very bad. No. It is a matter of faith. Our people believe that desecrating the dead, even if they have been risen, is a terrible dishonor. This is why a necromancer in Sentinel would be a very bad thing, and why I am concerned for my father's safety. My husband has many admirable qualities, and one of them is a hopeless optimism. He rarely takes action until a problem has at least been confirmed. As I said, I have only heard rumors of trouble in the Alakir. Hopefully it is nothing. Hmm, of course. My father is King Faharajad, my brother is Zah, my sister Lakana, and I were raised in Sentinel. Then one day, my father told me he had to marry me to this mad, young king of Wayrest, Emmerich. I was furious, of course, but I came around. Hey there. You the one Queen Morea bought passage for to Sentinel? All right. I'm just glad you didn't bring along a chest full of luggage. We got to row out to the posset in this little dinghy here. Real glamorous, eh? <laughs> as long as you don't mind rowing. Captain Mark already let me do all the rowing on the way in. Such a gentleman. Yeah, I wouldn't expect any rowing from him. We're ready whenever you are. Just say the word and we'll push off. Well, the captain's convinced we still haven't shaken that string of bad luck that started back in Stormhaven. That's a load of dung, though. We got a new crew and a new ship, the Dawn Posset. What more does he want? Beats the oblivion out of me. I don't know. He came into a pretty good-sized pile of coin not long after we saw you in Wayrest. Bought all kinds of cargo with it. Legitimate cargo. Things he's hoping to sell at other ports. We haven't sold anything yet, though. Then let's get the Oblivion out of here! Come on, Captain! It's your turn to row! All right, you lovers. Time to cast off! Well, 
Well, we're here all right, but I'm not sure I'm going to be getting off the boat. In fact, I say we just put right back out to sea. Oh, you bet your arse there is. Queen Morea's messenger said she had heard rumors, and I guess they were true, or something. Go talk to Captain Mark. He actually walked a little ways down the dock. Better he tells you about it himself. Zombies. Port of all the ports in Tamriel. Why this one? I sailed all the way across the Iliac Bay, and I need a glass of grog. Share a drink with some unsavory characters. But I draw the line at zombies. I think I'll stay off the docks for now. You can't smell their soggy, rotting flesh? Just walk down the causeway there, you'll see them. Damned army of them. Question is, why aren't the Sentinel Guards doing anything? Nah, I've seen a few of the bootless louts skulking around. Behind crates and such. Someone needs to go grab one of the guards and ask what in oblivion's going on here. You up for it? There you go. Give the guards a kick and tell them to get to work. I've got cargo to unload. If the guards can't help us, look for the Dockmaster. Maybe he's got half a brain. Unless the zombies have eaten it, of course. As if this day hadn't gone to oblivion already. You feel the need to remind me of all my debt? Yes, I still owe Sarashi. The Don Posset is a quality ship. It'll take time to pay her off. Of course, lost the ship at the Koglan Lighthouse, and the crew moved on. I'm lucky Elvira stuck around. We bought the Don Posset in Wayrest and took on a new crew. Good people. We're due for a streak of luck after this. How do you think I make a living? I buy there, sell here. It's what I do. All legitimate, of course. Picked up a load of timber and wayrest. It'll sell for a pile of coin here. It better. I have the ship security well in hand. You'd do best to deal with the dead on these docks. I'll protect the ship and Captain Mark. None of these dead men are getting past me. Get out there and deal with it. Do what you do best. It's like Betnik all over again, isn't it? Like Karzog's demise. At least this time they aren't eating our souls. No dead man is taking our boat. No dead man is getting near Lambor either. You deal with those docks. We'll deal with things here. Too many! I can't take it! You might want to get back on your boat, Seafarer. The dead are crawling from the sea and they have overtaken the docks. There is nothing to be done. We just have to pray to Tuwaka that they wander away. Zombies? Oh, such a crude term. These Ranetu are the remains of sailors who shipwrecked off the coast. We respect our dead here in the Alakir Desert. Even those who died at sea are honored ancestors. We do not fight them. We would be cursed. No. You are an outsider. These are not your ancestors. And as such, there is no dishonor in striking them down. No curse. Oh, but the fact that the dead have risen at all... It is terrible. We have strict laws. This should not happen here. I do not know. And I fear we have only made the situation worse. We thought we could contain them. We built barricades and tried to herd them away, but it was to no avail. Now I fear we are in even greater danger. My fellow guards will not strike the Ranatu either. Jessmine, Pierjean, and Emidal. I fear for their lives. Please find them and send them away. Then meet at the warehouse. The Dark Master hides there, and he may know the cause of all this. 
No! Go away! They're going to find me! I don't want to die! No, none of us are. The Ranitu are going to kill us all! It is not fair. I am too young to die. I just want to run. To run away. More was mercy. What have I done? I was just trying to defend myself, and now I have committed the greatest dishonor and brought a curse down upon my family. This Ronetu caught me. He was trying to bite me, to eat me. I tried to fend him off, but he jerked, and his head ran against my blade. It wasn't my fault. What am I going to do now? But what about stopping this Ronetu from getting into the city? What about the other guards? I cannot simply abandon them, can I? Great Ruptka, if this be not your will, send me a sign. Wait. Who are you? What are you doing here? Blood and honor. I have always had faith, but never have I... You are here to fight the Ronetu? Praise Wuptka. I was prepared to dishonor myself, but he sent you. I will go then. Gods be with you, my friend. Is the way clear? Finally, someone who's not afraid to do the dirty work. Someone to clean up my docks. I watched you from the window until I heard those necromancers downstairs. But I thought Mojad was coming here too. Did you see him? Damn. The poor bastard. I told them. I told the guards that they were going to have to fight back. It is one thing to be superstitious. But when the Ranetu are attacking the city, it's time to put the superstitions aside. No, we're not all so hung up on our beliefs. Can't ignore the tradition, though. Not unless we want fruit thrown at us, or worse. Regardless, right now I'm just glad Taba's winds guided you here. Someone to get the Ronetu off the damn docks. I do. I overheard the necromancers. Their leader is calling the dead from the sea with some kind of dark ritual. If you can disrupt the ritual, the dead should... Well, they should drop dead. Or at least stop crawling out of the water. That I do not know. I heard them mention the warehouse at the west end of the docks. Maybe the ritual is there. Wherever it is, you have to stop it. Then tell Captain Safira. Tava be with you.
will die, and then rise again to serve me! Ronette, you have returned to the sea. The docks will soon smell of dead fish again instead of dead people. And you, ride off the boat, and you slay the necromancer? Surely Tuwaka sent you to deliver us from this difficult situation. I am too. It has been many years since the plague of necromancy visited our shores. Though I am relieved the docks are clear, the events of this day are extremely disturbing. I wonder if you know how completely we are in your debt. Alakir warriors fear no evil, but they will not fight the undead. It may be a superstition, but it has been tradition for centuries. I could not have convinced my guards to break it today. I'm afraid not. There was just no easy solution. Perhaps to call everyone inside the castle and lock the doors? King Faharajad would not have liked that. Of course, the king will be extremely disturbed to hear what has befallen her regardless. I did not want to send word to the king until I was certain necromancy was involved. Now, though, he should be informed right away. I must stay here and oversee the cleanup. You are the one who turned the tide here. Will you inform the king as well? Thank you, Seafarer. It is better if I remain here to supervise as best I can, but I know the king would want to be informed of what has befallen us as soon as possible. The dead are sacred. It is what the people of Alakir have always believed and always will. Just as we respect our elders, so do we respect our ancestors. It would be dishonorable to strike them, and might even cause one to be cursed. Most people here deem them to be sacred law, not superstition. Even King Faharajad must respect our customs. If he were to ask his people to disrespect their ancestors, his rule would swiftly come to an end. These dark arts are not practiced by our people, but yes, we have experienced the plague of necromancy in the past. Fighting these plagues has always required great sacrifice. Those who have fought the dead have been dishonored, cast out, 